all right now so now we're going to talk about selection advanced selection and basic selection so I will go rough here so this is an image so there are several uh, selection tools uh, first one is uh, control R rectangular tool so press control R you can select it here press shift to add selection press alt uh, to subtract selection and press control to create a new selection so you know so that's how you can work with it uh, control shift a will deselect the thing you can also drag it here press shift to uh, create uh, you know a square press alt shift to transform it okay uh, sorry press alt to transform it and here we go okay <coughs> same things happens here in round selection this is the shortcut j so shift to create a full circle okay alt to transform the stuff you can um, uh, you know just press alt to transform the stuff you can see all of my shortcuts here okay so control shift a to deselect this one is called polygonal selection this one neat I know just drag it and it will be selected Control shift a to deselect uh, this one is called outline selection this is a kind of a leather tool you can use it yeah Control shift a this one is called the uh, you know contagious tool you will get the tool option here okay tool option so uh, you can use some fuzziness uh, parameters here okay it will uh, press shift to select multi you can go crazy fuzziness there we go okay good tool good tool control shift a this one is called color picker tool uh, uh, you can use it for you know same color selection i mean similar color yeah similar color just select it you can uh, obviously uh, tweak the fuzziness here control shift a uh, this one is called the basic graph selection tool. Uh, we are going to use the advanced uh, advanced one. Actually, this is the um, this is the tool professionals use every day. So you can use it like that. Press Alt, you know, to create the back. But we're going to uh, use the more advanced one. So I'm not going to demonstrate it here. All right. So. Uh, the thing is uh, these all tools are uh, pretty much basic uh, does basic jobs pretty fine not a problem uh, you can use them uh, in a in a tight schedule but um, if you need precision like these complex subjects you need to do some stuffs so let's get started so uh, the tool we are looking for is this one this is called busier craft tool this is similar to the pen tool or path tool of Photoshop okay so this is actually a vector tool uh, if you want to use it as a um, paint to uh, you know uh, in a paint layer you can use it in a paint layer so if I go to control alt P here or uh, from here if I go to paint layer we can use this tool not a problem you can use it like this 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 this, this something like that okay. you can use it but you cannot modify it so we're not going to use this paint tool so let's get it started first of all what we need to do is basically press ctrl G to group this layer now we're going to create a new vector layer here okay uh, the shortcut we have assigned is ctrl R V. so yeah this is the vector layer now go to this tool ctrl B or this tool uh, this is called the uh, you know Bezier curve tool now if we go somewhere here and let's go here press alt to get a breakpoint okay and somewhere here busy curve press alt to breakpoint somewhere here we are not refining it right now press alt to breakpoint somewhere uh, you can right click to uh, you know uh, uh, undo your previous stroke okay right click to undo your previous stroke press alt and something like that I know alt something like that I'm just going to you know uh, make a basic shape here there we go there we go there we go and here we go so now you get the you get your shape 
so you need to change it okay you need to modify it so how can we do it it's basically i'm just going to turn off the opacity here i don't need that so we are in this layer so press s or this selection tool and double click you will get the modifications so uh the time is really uh, not permitting me to go very detailed here so i'm just going to give you some basic so this one um you can uh, you know right click here you can use a corner point you can make a corner point here you can make a smooth point here so the smooth point is this like this the basic the busier you can go corner point here corner point is one-sided corner busier and there is a uh, smooth point yeah i have talked about it so yeah okay um for this one i'm going to use corner point here you know go for precision and let's get started here there you go and i need a middle point here as well so i will try my best to adjust it here and now i need a middle point so i can double click here and it will give me a middle point okay so there you go we can use a smooth point as well there you go and let's uh another point so i'm not going to very, going very much detail here so you can understand the basic things here so yeah let's use corner point there we go and uh, if you if you need to delete some point you can select it and press delete it will be deleted but we will need this so why should i delete it yeah so something like that you can see how much precision we can get from this tool okay professionals use this technique from a very long period of time of photoshop 7 or 6 something like that so this is the pro technique so yeah you get the idea right so i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to uh, go much more refined refinery so i'm just taking it here double click and here we go so something like that okay mm, okay let's let's do it rough i'm not going to ship it precisely right now but uh, you can see that you can <coughs> make your precision here so i'm just going to selection here so now what we can do is basically go to the right click we don't need to select it we just go here and right click here and select opaque so it will create a selection here so now if you go to the layer one press ctrl c and uh, suppose if you if you need to create a new file you can do it like ctrl v ctrl t you know transform layer there we go you can do it like that or uh, you know uh, basic basic control v control c control p control v <laughs> this kind of stuff for control shift a and control v uh, you will see your pistol layer here so if you go to the t you can move it here yeah basic stuff so uh, the um, the benefit of it is basically you will retain your mask here so you can select it once more all right there is also on um, this is the non-destructive uh you know masking system non-destructive selection selection system so press ctrl shift a so uh let's say uh we need this one as well <coughs> so what we can do <coughs> excuse me so what we can do here is basically we can create another uh control v another vector layer okay let's go to control alt v here and we can select this guy as well so i'm not just you know going random here Right. so um you can also uh, just go here press s and uh, you can edit your stuff you can turn off the opposite here okay you can edit your stuff here okay not a problem usual usual things uh so i'm going to double click here and go to backward so what we can do now is basically we can right click oops right click select opic it will select this guy okay and uh if you want to select both so you can press shift and select topic okay now you can see it has an addition selection so this is cool all right so now you can just copy this ctrl c ctrl v 
and I'll press it here, go to shift A, and then um, go to D, transform it here, okay? You can do those stuffs as well. So, lots of flexibility, lots of flexibility. So, yeah, that's how you can use it. So, this is the advanced selection method for image manipulation. Uh, so, up next, we're going for non-destinal masking. Okay, we are going for transform mask. All right, thank you.